the grave site of Stonewall Jackson in Lexington, Virginia. Historian, veteran, museum professional, and grave looker. <laughs> Here I am at Oak Grove Cemetery in Lexington, Virginia, and we are going to look at the grave of Stonewall Jackson and his family. Kind of a full circle moment for Walk With History. We have done Stonewall Jackson at Bull Run. We have done Stonewall Jackson getting um, shot by his own men his arm amputated where his arm was buried, and then the location where he died. So now we're gonna take you to his grave site. We just stumbled upon this grave. This is General Francis H. Smith. It says Superintendent Virginia Military Institute, 1839 to 1889. It says here that he is the first superintendent of the new Virginia Military Institute. So he's the first superintendent of VMI. How cool is that? Lexington, Virginia was an old Lexington Presbyterian Church Cemetery. The graveyard remained uh, for 150 years, but then when they moved Stonewall Jackson here, they had changed it to um, rename it to Stonewall Jackson Memorial Cemetery, who's buried here with his family. However, in 2020, they changed the name to Oak Grove Cemetery. Uh, because it's a reminder of the early Presbyterians who met in an oak grove before building the church here in Lexington. statue here of Stonewall Jackson was sculpted by Edward Virginius Valentine. It was erected in 1891. 30 years after he dies, this statue is erected. I'm not going to state the obvious, but the statue has both arms. Jackson is born in Clarksburg in 1824. His parents die pretty young of extreme poverty, so he's orphaned. And then he wants to go to the uh, military academy at West Point because he knows it's a free education, and of course it's what he can afford. Uh, he receives his appointment, he works very hard, gets better grades every year, and he graduates in 1846 along with McClellan, Hill, and Pickett. After that, like many of those classmates, they go fight in the Mexican War. He marries a, a girl there, Ellie. That's his first wife who will die in childbirth in 1854. She's buried here with him. So Eleanor Junket is the first wife of Stonewall Jackson. About 14 months after marriage and giving birth to a child that never breathed, the mother died also. So all that was dearest to him on earth was laid to rest in the grave. So she's buried with her son here. And then for a long time, he visited her grave daily and always stood over it with an uncovered head. So he would come and visit this grave daily. So if you look, his wife, Eleanor, his first wife, Eleanor, and his unborn son are 
in this first gated area. The second gated area is where he was laid to rest until before they put him under the statue. Beside his daughter, his infant daughter from his second wife who dies young, was buried on the other side of him. So he was buried between his two daughters until they eventually moved his body to underneath the statue. some lemons in front of Stonewall Jackson's grave. And I remember reading about this at Bull Run where they claim that Stonewall Jackson liked to suck on lemons. But that is really just an old wives' tale. From what some historians have said, he didn't like to suck on lemons. Now you can tell it might be a soldier thing because a lot of soldiers did like the citrus. It keeps off scurvy. But you don't have to really worry about scurvy. As a, as a land soldier, it's mostly in the, on the sea, but I did read that about Stonewall Jackson, and that's why there is lemons here in front of his grave. I am suits and ties and cocaine. Again, he's here, his wife is here, his second wife is here, infant daughter who dies in, who dies as a baby. And then his other daughter is buried on the other side with her husband, and then this is a grandson here. Oh, I sailed to the broken and I robbed them blind. I will build you a house with my own two hands. And then burn it to the ground as quick as I can. As quick as I can. As quick as I can. But the American story is convoluted, it's messy, it has a different, bunch of different players, a bunch of different people, a bunch of different conflicting ideas that are moving this country along. And uh, if you don't take the time to remember them and talk about them and to, to learn about them, could be doomed to repeat it. On to my next Walk of History. Power is your finger on the trigger, not a head full of dreams. I am a thief and a liar of the very worst kind. Oh, I sell.